Hi guys, welcome to viewing my next set of activities which I have focused on fine motor skills. If you see today, all the activities in my shelves are related to fine motor skills. If you ask what is fine motor skills, it is nothing but the coordination of small muscles involving the synchronization of hands and fingers with the eyes. Uh, my first tray has the alphabets and the laces here. All that he has to do is lace through these alphabets. Uh, I do not give him all the alphabets at, in one day because it's not that easy for a child to do it. So I just gave him two, three alphabets or based on his interest. The next one, this is the life cycle of, uh, of an apple tree. I have two sheets. One is the stickering sheet and the other one, what he does is the life cycle. First one, this is the seedling. He puts the sticker here on the mat and then the small plant, the tree, flowers and the fruit here. There are so many uh, fruits, flowers, fruits and some uh, stickers to make the paper more colorful. So this is the uh, life cycle of apple. And here the next set has some punching machine. These are the uh, small punch, punch machines and I have some color papers. Uh, this is for the child to put these papers and punch them and get those small uh, these kind of shapes. What I plan to do with those shapes are draw some patterns like triangle or rectangle, some shapes, basic shapes, and the whatever uh, pieces have come out of the, from this punch, just paste it. Uh, use the glue and then paste those uh, shapes. Here, this one, this one, my brat is already there playing with the uh, water beads. Here, if you look at Wait ma, wait, wait, take your hand. If you look at, look at from your naked eyes, these are very beautiful, colorful water beads and uh, it can also be used for sensory play, which I plan to do it in my future uh, shelf activity. So presently what he has to do is put it in this one and then, ah, yes, like that, like that. No. Uh -huh. No. And here, that's how. Stop. <laughs> This tray has some pipe cleaners and some beads. What he has to do is each color will go into a pipe. So finally when he's done he could actually count the numbers from 1 to 10. Next tray I have some straws, child friendly scissor and a lace. What he has to do is cut these straws into small pieces and make a garland through these lace. Next set uh, this is uh, this is the color paper that I have laminated. Here are the paper clips or the jump clips. He has already done a few. I didn't want to remove because it was his hard work. He has to put the clips like this. It looks easy but not so easy for, uh, for the little hands. You should hold like this. Mm, good job. Next tray. This tray has the tree and some colorful fruits. This is the uh, peach, I think. Watermelon grapes, cherry and there are some more fruits. What he has to do is string these fruits uh, through this tree. Once it is done, it actually looks very beautiful. In this set, I have tied a rope like this and made little clothes from felt sheet. Here is another tray. What he has to do is, these are the clothes pin. What he has to do is, he has to pin the clothes like this. Good job, put it. Ha, aprita, aprita. Next tray has an activity pad with the scissor. What he has to do is 
I'm just going to give him one page per day. So here, just cut these fruits into separate fruit, make a separate fruits, and he has to cut cut through these borders. Next comes our cobbler bench. From what I have seen, generally kids love uh, love hammering like this, and this is to learn how to lace their shoes. Pretty easy one. Last activity for the day. This is the paper roll that uh, I got it from my kitchen. I have used it for the activity, and here are some rubber bands. He has to put the rubber bands through this roll. That's it for today. Hope you guys liked it. I am doing these activities with a lot of passion. If you have any feedback, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.